from Creamer Media in Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. The South African Air Force conducted its annual live fire capability demonstration last month, in which primary airborne military assets flex their muscle. Reporting from the Air Force's purpose-built bomb range was Dylan Slater, who tells us more. The Rudaval Weapons Range in Polokwane Limpopo is host to a yearly or twice yearly public display of weapons and Air Force asset capability, in which the primary air defence and attack weaponry is run through its paces. The South African Air Force is one of the top in Africa and compares well with other Air Forces from developing nations, with a number of key pieces of equipment. These include the Saab JS-39 Griffin fighter jet, which the Air Force could use for reconnaissance, attack and air intervention of unidentified aircraft. The Griffin can be armed with several types of bombs, including those up to 240 kilograms, missiles or a Mauser 27mm cannon. The Griffin can also operate at speeds of just under Mark II. Also top on the list of primary assets is the BAE Hawk, which the Air Force uses primarily for fast jet training of pilots. Although slower and less agile than the Griffin, the Hawk can also be used as a lead-in fighter with the mounting of various types of bombs or a 30mm cannon for close ground support. Concluding the air power capability demonstration, South African Air Force Brigadier General Quibus Butler tells us about the aircraft involved in the demonstration. The aircraft involved is from our BK-117 uh, Augusta helicopter, the Oryx helicopter, the Casa 212, Gripen, Hawk, uh, and we had a, a links from Cape Town here today. I think the demonstration went very, very well. You'll always have small hiccups, but uh, I think what the, the public has seen and the uh, spectators, it went uh, very well. The air power capability demonstration is a significant calendar event for the Air Force, and indeed the South African Defence Force in general, because many of the assets of the Defence Force come together to produce a seamless demonstration of the capabilities of the South African military service. Butler runs us through the main objectives of the demonstration and plans for next year's event. I think this, is, this program is directed to our executive national strategic program. So we are demonstrating to them firepower from the Air Force uh, in jointness. So maybe we can add a little bit more of the ground forces. Uh, you've seen for the first time in this show or this exercise that we have uh, added some of the military vehicles uh, to show jointness but next time we will add more uh, uh, military vehicles. Such Air Force demonstrations also serve to prepare troops, pilots and air personnel for combat, defence and peacekeeping operations as they represent a degree of real life scenarios. It was a combined uh, uh, a human uh, uh, rescue uh, operation together with uh, a combat rescue operation. So we have demonstrated to you in, in normal uh, fire uh, fighting operations what we can do and how to rescue people then also in operational situation, now we can uh, rescue soldiers uh, in this operation. The Air Force also encourages youth through its national student program by inviting them to such events to experience what a career in the Defence Force might be like. It is for our executive national st uh, student program, so this is once to twice a year, depending on the amount of students. And we, re we actually demonstrate this to the students, but when we demonstrate this, we also uh, utilize this as force preparation. For example, tonight we have qualified another uh, Oryx commander, which is one of the first black ladies qualified as an Oryx commander. We have qualified all the Gripen students, which was on course today on, uh, on uh, 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 two versus one combat maneuvers as well and, uh, as their bombing uh, phase. Like every other air power capability demonstration of the South African Air Force, many foreign Air Force dignitaries and personnel were in attendance. But that explains why. Each country will always have, each Air Force or military will have foreign dignitaries visiting. So we have combined some of the visit, uh, visitors which would have come during the year to this demonstration just to show our capability to uh, the Angolan chief of the Air Force and his delegation and the Nigerian chi uh, chief of the Air Force and his delegation. So it was combined uh, together with the Executive National Students Programme. Other news making headlines, Ikurileni to invest 2.2 billion rand in energy infrastructure and company brings consulting engineering into the digital age. The city of Ikurileni has committed 2.2 billion rand to invest in energy infrastructure over the next three years. Our intergovernmental cooperation is is crucial to the ability to fulfill our democratic mandate as government. We have, com we have committed ourselves to fighting poverty, inequality, and to build a prosperous society in which all our people have a better life. 
we have recognized that this can only be achieved through radical economic transformation of our economy to place it on the path, on the real path for growth as well as to ensure that we are able to create jobs and transform the wealth, uh, the wealth structure that, that we inherited from apartheid past. With advanced technologies replacing pen and paper approaches across all industries, Engineering and Project Management Consultancy, Royal Haskwane DHV South Africa, MD Salani Satole, stresses that consulting engineering companies must find ways to embrace the era of digitalization in their operations or risk becoming obsolete. Looking at the future, the companies that don't embrace digitalization, they'll be as obsolete as those companies that were using drawing boards. Okay, because like when CAD came and people were stuck to drawing boards, they soon realized that they were disappearing. So the same thing in uh, the consulting world is that uh, systems are going to be faster and uh, the software that is being developed uh, will require a lot of data and the arrangement of data in such, such a way that you become effective. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.